What is up guys? How's it going? Right now we are gonna go meet Malcolm at a thrift store right now. I'm actually on my lunch break at work. Normal job. Who would have thought? But uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are gonna go over some new shoes that just came out. So I wanted to go over this video real fast for you guys and get it out there so you can decide whether or not these are right for you and if you should go and buy them or not and everything. They're a slimmer version of the Stevie Williams from my knowledge. 100% don't know what I'm talking about the whole time. It's awesome seeing Malcolm's passion for everything that he's been into over the years. So yeah, let's go meet up with him at the thrift store parking lot and uh, go over the shoes real fast. See you there. Just spit all over the camera. Hey, it might be a piece of shit, but it's fine, dude. I mean, look at this art, art thing right here. That's, that's worth a million dollars, right? Hey, man. Yeah. Look what we got today. Okay. Box is a little beat up. Dude, this guy showed me so many boxes that he's ordered, and I'm like, what are they doing with these boxes? Straight up the spoiler. Deliver it, guys. <laughs> Like, oh, you kicked half of them? From like the 1800s, it would look better than you. All right, let's get this rolling. I took one out and laced it up already because I'm impatient. But this shit looks good, huh? Dude, I dig it. I right. dig it. Yeah. You gonna wear a pair, Brandon? Uh, maybe. I mean, Christmas is kind of far away from right now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Take those off. There we go. I wish the tongue popped out more. I'm sure there's some fancy tricks you can do. Stuff a soccer and eat it. There or you go. Double tongue it. Double tongue it. Yeah. These are straight. Um, How they fit? They don't fit too good, I'll be honest with you. I tried it on earlier today and uh, they fit pretty big. I would say go half size down. This is a 10, like I wear in everything Lynx, Kalos, all that. And I wear a 10 in the Legacy Slims and it still fits me. But with this one, it runs bigger. I'm, I already ordered a nine and a half because as soon as I tried this on, like I really want this one to wear because it's the first Williams I ever had in the OG one. And they haven't made the OG colorway of this yet. So I figured I'd get the slim, but they're fucking sick though. I mean, this is like a perfect slim. I mean, look at it, everything, all the details are pretty much true. Uh, there's some, minor differences but i like how they fucking nailed the tongue shape on this better than they did the og reissue which is pretty crazy to me but yeah this shoe is sick um there's like no cup there to lock it in so it's gonna be like the og how it just slips off your heel constantly so you're gonna have to lace these pretty tight if you plan to skate them uh, that sucks. I mean, they got like this little extra padded here, which you would think would help, but no, like it's literally just a slick fucking area back there. Maybe because they don't have padding. I don't know. But yeah, it sucks. That's a bummer. But they do have really good tongue straps in them and shit, but they're not overly snug. So like I said, you're going to have to lace these pretty tight if you plan on doing any skating in them. Which I, I want to try to get into it, but I want to skate a pair of these. But yeah, like I said, these are sick. Overall design is awesome on these. Everything's like pretty true to the original. Just slim down, which is perfect. I hate it when they make like slim shoes and take away some of the design, which they didn't do that with these. But like I said, guys, definitely go half down in these. They are about half a size, maybe almost a whole size too big. Um, I ordered a nine and a half. When that comes in, I'll let you guys know how that fits. But for this 10, it's half a size too big which sucks but look at that even the sole design is sick yeah on that's sick the whole shoe's dope it doesn't have a removable oh yeah it does little thin piece nothing to it 
I miss the old days when they had the art support and everything in them, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. What you think, Brandon? I dig them. I like the slim version. You want to slip one on? You got the got the Sig Nikes, bro. Kick that shit off. Not bad, dude. Does that okay. actually fit you? Oh yeah. What size? This is a ten, huh? Ten. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ten for me is fine. I normally wear a ten and a half, so it actually doesn't feel bad. It still looks like too big of a shoe because I'm not oh, that a shoe big is shoe slim OG as guy like you, but... Hey, for me, it feels like a big shoe. It does have like the look of being puffy, even though it's not, which is cool. Um, I've seen the slim ones online. I haven't had a pair yet till now. And every time it, they look, they look tight. They look like a fucking poofy shoe, but it's not, it's slim. That's what I was saying, like by not getting rid of most of the original design, it just keeps that look. Right, you need a pair. They look <laughs> tight, dude. <laughs> Stop it, man. Uh, I do want to say that normally, since I do wear a ten and a half, I do actually have a good bit of toe room up front. So my big toe is right there. So I still have maybe a good half inch left. Maybe a quarter, but still run a little bit big. A half inch, just like your dick. Oh uh, yeah, that's false. Oh, that's mine. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, overall, like I said, half size down, um, especially if you want to skate them. Uh, that's a 10, my normal size. I probably can't even wear that comfortably because A, you have to lace it like hella tight because like I said, on that heel, it has no support. So it doesn't lock the shoe on at all. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, they're sick for sure, but half size down. And I already ordered my half size down. Uh, I got a few more tens coming in, which sucks. I'll probably have to sell those and try to find the nine and a half of them. But yeah, they're still tight though. I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching and liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. That's a wrap, guys. I'm about to go thrifting at this store. Hopefully, I find some dope shit.